Julie McNeil is the manager of the Hockey Queensland Remote and Indigenous Hockey Program. The program uses hockey as an active participation sport in communities, particularly in North Queensland. It is designed to work in participation with health and education to increase the opportunities for people in these places. The program sends development officers into 40 communities to deliver clinics, as well as coaching local coaches to keep hockey going. Wes Ferns is the senior mentor coach for the Remote and Indigenous program. to look at the next, um, the next step, which is where these kids can aim to get to. I think we were just sitting down one day and we were discussing about how the Kings team, they travel around to Singapore and maybe a potential of sending a girls team over. With the experience we have across the board, we started to have a look at how we would do that and the concept of the rubies was born. My father is my only Indigenous parent and he's full Aboriginal. On my grandmother's side, we're from the Goongaree tribe, which is in the St George area. And on my grandfather's side, which is the Masons, we are from the Gungaloo tribe, which is in the Blackwater area. My parents are both Aboriginal. My dad's tribe is Bidra from the Carnarvon Range up near the southwest of Queensland. <laughs> My dad and his parents are from Vanuatu and my mum's mother is from the Durumbul tribe and her father is Iman. Is that all you want me to do more? She's funny, she likes to be the clown, she's outgoing. She's a beautiful girl. She likes to socialise I suppose, yeah. She's very loud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can be a real clown when she wants to be. Yes. Which side of the family yeah. does she get that from? The mother. <laughs> when I was little, I played lots of sports, and I didn't know which one I liked best. And then in grade four, my friends told me about hockey. Oh, my mother and her elders, elder family, they played when they was younger, and I wanted to do a sport, so I chose hockey. I caught on really quickly with the schoolwork with my drags and stuff and I was pretty fast so when I was when I my first game I was cruising around people so I thought I was deadly you know and stayed with hockey. What I've basically concentrated on here was making sure their basic um, skills were uh, improving them but we've also worked on some more advanced uh, skills along the way and I've noticed a really big improvement in all the girls um, since we started doing it, which was a couple of months ago. I'm employed jointly with uh, Mackay Hockey and Hockey Queensland. Obviously one of my roles is to help Mackay Hockey with their juniors and, and things like that, as well as 
train our more elite players or train players that are in programs such as the Northern Queensland Rubies. My parents were, they grew up in Mullumbimby. Um, my grandparents, my grandfather, he's from the Nunuckle tribe, Stradbroke Island. Um, in the Mullumbimby area, that's the Bunjalung area, that's where my parents grew up and I'm from the Tweed area which is the Minjimbal area. So. I know that my great grandmother was from the Waruji people and they're from north of Townsville in the Herbert River. She's very dedicated, very motivated, gives everything she does 100%. Girls have been playing hockey since uh, they were dots because I played hockey all my life. So they're always on the side of the field. 13 years. I remember the time they used to turn them around backwards, uh, you know, in the pram and all the subs looked after them. So uh, since they were kids, since they could hold hockey sticks, they have been playing hockey. Yeah. I was grade one at Fitzgerald. And yeah, just mum used to play hockey, so kind of found out about it and then really liked it. I think over the last four to five years, I've got to know all three of the girls really, really well. If there's anything they can take out of this trip, and I really hope they do, I think they hope, I hope they get more confidence within themselves um, and, and sort of helps them stride forward, whether it's, whether it's for hockey or anything else they do in their lives, you know. Um, because I think all three girls have got potential no matter what they do and, and if they put their minds to it. From my mum's dad's side, I'm from the Larrakia tribe up in Northern Territory, Darwin. And from my mum's mum's side, I'm from the Adinji, um, South Cairns. From my grandmother's side, we're originally from um, the Wutati tribe in uh, Shelburne Bay, East Cape York. Um, but we got moved to um, Thursday Island, and on my granddad's side, uh, where uh, he's from Badu. My mother's great grandfather, Jack Noble, was from the Wanamata clan. My father's from Cape York. My great grandmother, Koda, was born in Mapoon. My family also has historical ties to the eastern side of Cape York. A hockey and a stick, and just smashing a ball, we thought would be the best thing to get her out there, yeah. I started playing when I was six, I think. Um, my mum got me into it because her whole family played hockey. Um, she's a pretty average teenager, pretty easy going, um, pretty bubbly personality and loves to socialise with her friends and, and catch up with family and January training camp was the first time the Rubies had been together since selection. Training was all about getting to know your teammates. And thereafter, the intensity of training increased and the focus was turned to the game strategies and advanced skills. As a coach, I've done a lot of local, a lot of coaching with the local teams in the remote areas. But as a international or a more professional type team, this is my first time, so I'm quite excited. I'm also quite nervous at competing at the top level now. Wes hasn't actually travelled to Singapore before, so um, I've very, very much been involved in mentoring Wes and assisting him with the preparation of the team. What we've been trying to do is. Uh, assist with uh, professional and personal development of our staff uh, in this project. We have uh, Enna Wayangu and uh, Delassa Savage who are the Indigenous Development Officers within the program. They are co-managing um, not just this week but co-managing the team to Singapore. My responsibility is to um, look after the team, um, take them to the game, and provide them with good healthy food. Just to get along with the girls, because this is our first time meeting them and want them to like join together as a team, work, uh, work out like as a team. It's a six to eight week program. They had to uh, commit to the program. They had, their attendance levels had to be high, significantly high, uh, and they had 
they had to show that uh, they wanted this above pretty much everything else. What's your best score, Sarah? <laughs> like nine, five. You reckon you beat it today? No. Jasmine, best score? Uh, I got 10 7, but I don't think I'll beat that today. Last level one. Level three, four. The skill so that fitness up, okay, you often find everything else will fall into place. The skill level will still improve, okay, and also the attitude will won't drop. What was your best score before? Um, seven. And that one? Eleven. Well done. Yay. We go try them. For the past three years, the Cairns Hockey Association has sent teams to the Singapore Sixers as part of their academy program. The Cairns men's team is the Colts and the girls team is the Sapphires. With the RIHP based in Cairns, it was a logical stepping stone for the Rubies to compete in the same tournament. As well as the Sixer side tournament, the Rubies are joining forces with the Sapphires to play two 11 aside games against the Singapore Academy. David McNeil is coaching this team. These games add to the international competition experience both teams get while they're away. Speed is vital. Um, it, it's very, very important that you can get away and, and counter-attack very, very quickly. One-on-one -on -one skills are important, so the ability to, you know, to, to get away from an opposition player with the ball. But then just as importantly as all those three is the ability to create. Um, you've, you've, you know, to get into space, put someone else away, go again, kick again, and, and go up the field. No one has that lead. See, they're not looking where the ball is. Look at it. Yeah. None of them. The crease still hasn't looked. Now she's looked. They were totally blown away about how fast the game is, how quick it is, and the intensity. It's only six minutes, but it's six minutes of constant running. Uh, I think they've all gone away excited about where they can go. Uh, there's no doubt about the fact that they realise that the work that they've done isn't enough. Um, there, there's a lot more hard work to be done. Uh, and to go over there and achieve the goals that they want to do, then they'll have to do that hard work, otherwise they'll get left behind. So I had, say, one week, and the local coaches be training them for two or three times a week now, but without my supervision. So my only way I can get updates from the girls is just basically phone calls and emails from the coaches. When the program started, uh, we certainly wanted to capture the connection between sport and culture. I'm up with um, representatives. Um, I don't do certain kind of things because the blue colour just represents our people. We don't think um, it's practical nor it's responsible to disconnect them. Coming up um, with the designs for the, the stick was uh, probably a bit of a hard task um, because it's based on two cultures. Um, I'm Aboriginal and because of the other culture um, I can't do a lot of things with it. So it had to be something that was based on so the colours of the Islander side and the colours of the Aboriginal. So the Aboriginal hands represent the Aboriginal and the land, of the orange and red, and the blue and white and green that represents the islands with the um, waves in it. It's, it's hectic, um, it's, it's exciting, it's challenging, it's, it's everything that the hockey, the hockey player wants it to be. It's, it's non-stop, it's, um, it, it's, it's distracting, there's that many things going on, it's quite easy to get caught up in the carnival atmosphere and, and forget that you're actually there to trap a ball or pass a ball or run here and lead there. Um, the players will have such an electric experience, it's, it's, it's going to be unbelievable. Congratulations, the first Rubies team, congratulations girls. You've got to take away a group of players that will like each other. And believe me, on an overseas tour, if there's going to be rifts or there's going to be attitudes or there's going to be problems, it will happen on an overseas trip with jet lag and travel and foreign countries and foreign food and foreign languages. It'll bring it all undone. So, uh, yeah, one of the most important things from each athlete is the ability to be accepting of other people and then contribute to the team. I wouldn't be surprised to see them in the cup competition on the Sunday. A lot will depend on the draw that they get on the Saturday competition and being a new team, um, Singapore authorities could be nice to them because they're unseen. So 
they might get some teams that didn't go so well last year. So I wouldn't be surprised to see them in the senior competition on Sunday. If not, I reckon they could definitely take out second grade. I would like to say to my teammates, stand tall, stand proud, and never lose faith in who you are. Thank you. Uh, great effort to uh, get yourself fit, trained up, and be part of the first ever uh, Indigenous international side. I think that's just absolutely stunning. Well done, girls. Our acceptable behaviour is still our acceptable behaviour in private, in public. It's what's acceptable in Singapore. Winning in Singapore is not important for me, okay? It's especially to get the, oh, the girls ready, prepared, and just getting them exposed to that international level. You're ambassadors for your country, you're ambassadors for your community, and you're ambassadors for your chosen sport. Get out there, enjoy what Singapore has to offer, but make sure that you show the best possible side of yourself and of your community. Enjoy the experience, give 100%, and hopefully that you bring something back to Mackay. Uh, culturally or whatever, whatever she learns up there. Just make sure you go out there and give 100%, listen to your coach, and um, yeah, just go out there and do your best and, and do Rocky proud. This, is, this could be a once in a lifetime experience. So, you know, just take it on board, enjoy it. And you're going to win, not necessarily on the scoreboard. You're going to win by a life's experience, by meeting new people, appreciating different cultures, and coming back here and sharing those experiences with others and encourage them to go forward. And most importantly, work really, really hard with the teammates that you're involved with. Go to the Rubies. <laughs> Singapore! Singapore! Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't even understand some of the words. The signs up here. Immigration. It's about 23 kilometers. From the west to the east is about 42 kilometers. Oh my God! What is oh, that? Is that a Ferrari? Yeah, that's a Ferrari. That's a 360. Wait, look at that pretty. Yeah, so over here on the left side, this is the Raffles Hotel, and this hotel over here is one of the oldest and it has housed some of the most famous people in the world, including Michael Jackson. Oh, so when Michael Jackson was here, yeah, he oh, is, I want to go there. You know, he's a very special guy. So he had a very strange request. So from the Singapore Zoo, we have a very famous icon. She's called Ame, and she's an orangutan. So Michael Jackson invited her, the orangutan, to this hotel. Nice. <laughs>
Oh, look, the crane's waving. Rolly, right, Rolly, right, right, good. Oh, look, that was, that was great. The improvisation was fantastic. <laughs> Sí, I am uh, Juanma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Juanma Mars. I'm the women's national coach in Singapore. This is the under 21s, but it's a very young squad and it's a very, very early stage because we have just uh, put together the best, the best under 21 players facing the Union Asia Cup that, that we'll play in Thailand in June. Lee Thomas uh, at that stage was 13 years of age and I think it, it would be remiss of him if we don't you know, acknowledge the fact that on this tour and going out there today to play in an under 21 international hockey event, you know, we've got Lucretia at 14. So, you know, it's a great effort, well done, you know, and you know, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't be overwhelmed by it, just enjoy the experience. It's Australian high standard, uh, it will be a tough match, and yeah. also they still, uh, they haven't trained long enough. Don't go down the middle, just the flanks, because they're very weak on the left and right back and all that. The keeper, I'm not very sure. <laughs> I'm a Singapore, I'm telling you all this. Some players are really, really talented, another, another one's uh, just school level, but yeah, we, we have to, we're expecting a good performance. Whether you win or lose doesn't matter, it's like what David said, it's a whole experience. This is just a byproduct of coming to the Sixers. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, this guy goes. Sweat you when we do come back here, to toss it because yeah. if they're all coming at you, there's got to be space behind you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And then that one from Sam straight across that forced you big bang. <laughs> Good girl, Affy. Hey. Good. Scrappy at times, but overall the girls have started to gel together as a team. It's pretty hard not playing for the first time, but they're getting there. A lot improved from last night. I thought that they concentrated a lot better on holding the structure. Um, we, wanted to, uh, we wanted to hold the midfield and own the midfield, and I thought on probably for 80 to 90% of the game we did that, so I thought they attributed themselves pretty well. The 11 side concept is a success? Oh, it's got to be. I mean, you know, you've just got to have a look at where we are and the, and the way the kids have improved over two days. I think it's been a fantastic thing, and I think it's something that we hope to do in the future. But the longer it went, and the, uh, and the better we got. And from a coaching point of view, that's all we can ask. They should be extremely proud of themselves. Well done. Five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, five minutes. Really? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Nerves, anticipation, excitement, everything rolled up into one, not knowing really what the grass fields was going to do and just playing together in this sort of environment. Club Kinder, Neil. The Reds won.
So, don't worry about the score in the first game. Let's just get used to the game, the skills, the rules, and each other. We have got the ability, we have got the skills to go out there and do it. Remy started a little slow uh, and the uh, Red Devils, the opposition team, got a bit on top of them. Scored two um, goals reasonably quickly uh, and uh, then next you know it, it was half time and the Rubies had to group. Second half, nearly like a completely different team. They focused, they knew what they were doing, they did everything the coach said or asked them to do, I'm sure. Shania, great shot from the top of the D, left the keeper standing, didn't know where it was going. Great goal. About uh, maybe 15 seconds before the end, didn't even really have time to get back to the halfway line. Everything as we expected, I think, a little bit overawed, but then just like teams do, they get used to each other really quickly, they adapted, and that's been the fantastic part of this. Well, we're good, we kept our pressure in the second half, we kept them close, we forced them to hit along. That's where we get the turnovers, that's where we go on attack. Big crowd goes, first game, two more. Oh, the Japanese, they'll run for 12 minutes. Not always the skillful players, but they'll run for 12, 30, 40 minutes. Whatever they're told, they'll do it. So they're a very disciplined team. The field impressed quite a fair bit. I think the main thing they got rid of was the nerves. We led for most of the game. I think we scored in the first half through a short corner. It was a beautiful goal to watch. The main thing the girls need to learn that it's a 12 minute game of hockey. It's not a 10 minute, not 11 minute, not a 9 minute game. It's a 12 minute game of hockey. They switched off the last 10 minutes. That's when the other team scored. Finished up one all. So the girls need to realise they need to push for the whole 12. Unfortunately, twisted her ankle. First thing we do is take her straight to the physio. I think she said just a light sprain, and hopefully she'll be fine for the next game. Well, we fight for the next round. No, you take it easy. <laughs> Push Carmen up. Chanel up. She goes up. What happens if we lose? Oh, just it's better if we draw. If Sam calls your name, it means she's going to go over here. And on pitch four, match 80, Wheat Belt Rebels versus North Queensland Rubies. Corner if you can, corner if you can. We had a game against uh, Rebels from Western Australia. Yeah, well, what can I say? We're going to win! <laughs> yes! 1 0. So, quite happy. Oh. First things first. Congratulations, first win. Be proud of that. You picked that intensity up and we played for 12 minutes. Considering the injuries and the we had, okay, you girls pulled together as a team and you made it work on the field. Be proud of that. First time in sixes, got the win, two draws. Yeah, well, that's when we should have been on top of them. Like, yeah, they were also, I know I was 
moving out a lot to shoot. Yes. Like, yeah, so you to get the you had so much yeah. space just to have a good shot. It's a good test for these girls coming up. Being the fourth game, it's been a long day, so it really shows their character now, whether they got it or whether they haven't. We lost against the Malaysian team in our fourth game, and um, after that, Wes, our coach, like everyone was angry and upset about the game. Stay on your feet. We didn't play too well and our coach was very angry and um, the girls like had issues like they were from on and off the field. In the KL game um, we didn't work as a team. I think everyone was just didn't want to win as much and didn't believe that we could win. Hong Kong Cricket Club versus Hollanders Club. The coach's reaction was very disappointed and mad and my, I was very mad as the captain too. I felt like we didn't play as a team, we didn't want to win, no one was trying and we just gave the game up. If they want the board, they need to get it. Okay, they just can't be relaxed or they can't slacken off for 30 seconds or 5 seconds is 12 minutes of full on 100% intensity. There was a lot of issues and yeah, issues. So we decided to get together and just talk about like everything and get what we had to say off our chest, like just us girls, no managers or coaches or anything. And put our differences aside and try and fix it and move on. and. Then, like, after we did, we went back and played so much better against the Singapore team. We just talked about what we um, thought was going wrong in our game, why we weren't trying, like, what we could do to fix it, like, leading, never giving up, chasing the ball back if you lose it, helping each other out, being there. And, yeah, we just gave that, that never give up attitude. And um, I think a lot of the girls understood that they needed to do more work. And after the talk, everyone was really happy with each other. And we played really, really good. My sister was trying to get the ball into the circle. Um, she lost it, so I come out of the side of the circle, got the ball, and I went to go do deadly tomahawk. Ended up missing the ball. My shoulder hit the ground hard. I couldn't feel my arm, I couldn't breathe. It was either walk to the first aid or get a stretcher. I um, decided to walk because stretcher didn't want to look too sooky. And I popped my shoulder out and broke my collarbone. Really, I just wanted to strap up. Didn't really care at the time because I just wanted to play, represent Rubies. I trained so long and I just didn't want to give up. Northern Queensland Rubies won. SEC Gold Mill. When we were playing the Singapore Cricket Club, I scored my first goal in ages. I felt really happy and like I could hear all my family on the sideline yelling out to me and like yelling out Saunders. We start believing in ourselves, we'll win. Believe that you can do it, believe you can win, believe you got the skill, and you will achieve your goal. Plain and simple. Good work, girls. Two wins, what is it? Two wins, two, two draws, one loss. One Great day. 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 We got a goal, we got a goal, so we're over the moon. I would think if we wrote a script and we wanted it to end in, or in a particular fashion, this is how we'd play it. The fact that they've come together, um, they've finished on a win, uh, they don't know it yet, but they've made it into the top level. You'll be playing first league X, yeah? So. Yeah, Sapphires. Hello. No <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Oh, awesome. What time? It's a shame, but awesome. 10.40. Oh, sleep in. Oh, thank goodness we can sleep in. So I think they've become a real competitive force now, and I think they've just started to believe it.
Yeah, you lap it up. You're not going to laugh. Good news. It's a 10.30 game. Next cans. So, pretty much, we finished second in our pool. We're going to finish the worst week in this eight. We beat cans. We go further. Oh, that's good. So, that's good. That would be good. I reckon we could beat them in. I reckon we could. If you win, progress to the next round. If you lose, you're knocked out. So it's basically, yeah, do or die today. I don't think it'll take much for them to get up to want to beat their colleagues and uh, people they've been training with and playing against. The Cairns team has experience on their side. They have some quality players, but adrenaline and excitement and playing for yourself and for your team are great strengths and I think they've just worked them out. So maybe it is a force to be reckoned with. On pitch two, the match between North Queensland Rubies from Australia in orange. Okay, I was really engrossed in this match, so I was looking at it more as a keen spectator rather than a, uh, a commentary observer. So I think the, the first game was very even for the first three or four minutes. Uh, and then we took advantage of a breakaway, um, a, a great one on one win, and then a long pass, and then Lucretia drew the goalkeeper and uh, scored a goal. Fantastic goal. The FCC Martin. Today we have yeah. some first burgers brought to you by Ramley Burger. It's good to see her step up and get in there and score a goal. It was a tough, pretty goal. She needed a lot of heart, a lot of ticker to get the goal in. Neil. It was 1-0 at half time we went in and I think the girls were really pumped and I think they believed they really could see this through if they played the whole seven minutes. Came out in the second half and it was very, very tough going. It was anyone's game I think for the first three or four minutes and then Kiona, our goalkeeper, uh, pulled off a magnificent save uh, to stop it being one all. Uh, within moments the ball was up the other end and we were in the circle and Shania um, had a one-time shot uh, and cracked it past the keeper. Yeah. Oh. The KL Hockey Club from Malaysia. It was just a striker's opportune goal, just what we wanted her to do. We definitely came out firing right from the start. The girls were intent on doing their job and they just uh, wanted it more, I think, than the other team. The younger members are growing in self-confidence and their self-belief, which is all about this program, that they actually, given the opportunity, given the circumstances, they do have it in them to um, succeed when when the circumstances arise. Two youngest girls scored goals in. How do you feel, Lucretia? I feel awesome. <laughs> Emotional, relieved, excited, proud. You name it, I was feeling everything. <laughs> what do you plan to say for them before the next game? The main thing is go out and enjoy it now. Live it up. Mm. Playing semi-finals in a big international tournament. So to get it that far is unbelievable. So it's all about enjoying the hockey now. Best of luck, and we hope to see you next year. Yeah.
place out of 24. So I wasn't even expecting a semi-final but the girls pulled it together the last couple of days and they showed me that can they can make the final next year and I believe they will. Everybody did their like did the jobs they said they were going to do and everyone worked for each other everyone kept running. I was crying after that game. After that game. Hey, I had tears in my eyes. Two. Um, you did a great job. Yeah, love you, Wesley. <laughs> okay. We played really well. We tried our best. That's what I could ask. I'm so proud of you girls for actually sorting it out and stepping back up. Let me clap. Just please clap for me. <laughs> this is my nan and this is my uncle. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah. Touch <laughs> Smile, everyone. Well, I still can't believe that I'm in Singapore, but yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to leave here. Team shopping! Yeah. One, two, three, I'm going to leave here. Didn't have time to go and play and watch it. Don't say anything. Too busy watching hockey. Yeah. 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 Yeah.